Okay, we're going to go one last time to uh, prepare you for the uh, graphing final. I want to make give you one last chance to make sure you've got your head on straight. And so here we go. Uh, make sure you answer all the questions here and then also on the graph. And you can tear them apart in order to be able to look at things side by side, no problem. Okay, <clears throat> so be neat on the graph and clear with any label uh, on any labels and shifts. Okay, price of Toyota Prius is determined by market forces. Currently, the demand and supply schedules are as follows. Okay, now my question to you is when you're graphing demand, which two of these columns are you going to look at? When you're graphing supply, the supply curve, which of these are you going to look at? Uh, also, when you graph the demand curve, how are you going to label it? When you graph the supply curve, how are you going to label it? Okay, go ahead and graph the two curves and label them. Okay, so did you connect the dots? Did you label the demand curve, D1? Did you label the supply curve, S1? Okay, now, take a look at the instructions. We graphed the demand curve and the supply curve. Okay, put a check mark there to keep track of what you've done and what you haven't done. Now, mark and label the equilibrium point. And when you've done that, check mark that so you can keep track of what's in these instructions that you've done and haven't done. That will help you avoid missing points in the final. So what do you label your equilibrium here? And what do you label your equilibrium here? All right, now that we've done that, we come over here and we click, or we, we, we check off that we did that, that step. That way you can keep track of what you've done. So then we write it out, don't put EP here, write out the whole word, otherwise you can't get the full points. Equilibrium price is what? Look at your graph. Equilibrium price is $25,000. If you don't get that full price, you're going to lose points. And if you don't get the dollar sign, you're going to lose points. Okay. And equilibrium. What about the quantity? Equilibrium quantity is four. It's not, it says 400 on the graph, but here we know that that is 400,000, and then tell us what it is, otherwise you'll lose points. I don't know what the plural of Prius is, we're just going to say 400,000 Toyota Prius. Okay, and these are all worth points here. Okay, next step. We've done that, we've written that out. Check. All right. Now, keep in mind, the Honda Accord Hybrid competes with the Toyota Prius for hybrid car buyers, so keep that in mind as we read this scenario. Consider the following scenario. The Honda increased the price of the Accord Hybrid by 35%. Okay. Is that going to affect supply or demand? And which determinant of demand is that related to? Okay. And what is this going to do to the Toyota Prius? Okay. Um, the demand for the Toyota Prius will increase due to an increase in price of a substitute good. Okay, so that's all of this stuff. That's worth a point. 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 All of these things matter. Okay, so we've done this. We've told how it will affect the market, it's going to increase the We have explained why, we've given our determinant, right, you have to give that determinant. All right, check, check. Now, show this change by drawing your new curve on your graph. So 
we've got to show that demand increased here on the graph. All right, I'll pop. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to put it over here. And what do we label this curve? All right. Now, so I drew a new curve, check, put those check, oops, sorry, you can't see. I drew a new curve, put those checks, so you can keep track of the things that you did and the things you didn't do. Oh, now there's something more that we haven't done. Mark and label the new equilibrium. So you guys go ahead and do that too. What do I label this? What do I label this? Okay, so let's check everything that we've done so far. Oh, I marked it and labeled it. Good. Keep those check marks. Oops, you can't see. Keep doing those check marks. You can keep track that you've done everything that's here. Now, suppose, well, first of all, let's take a look. What has happened to the equilibrium price? It has raised. It's increased. So that is going to help us understand the answer to the next question. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, now suppose Toyota dealers continue to sell the Prius at $25,000. So equilibrium price is here, but some people are still doing it here. Now, I know I told you that you would have to graph this stuff right here on the graph, but I double checked with Mr. Um, Campbell, and actually you can just explain it in, in words. But it, it, so, so many of you were having trouble graphing uh, surpluses and shortages that um, I double checked, and that one you don't have to do. But I'm going to offer, for those of you who did master that skill, I'm going to offer extra credit on that uh, on the graphing final if you can actually graph this as well, not just answer it, but also prove it on the graph. But if you can't, just answer the question, because most of you were answering the question correctly, and good job on that. Um, that's all you'll need to do to get a good uh, grade on the final. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and graph it to show you one more time for those of you who want to do to, to do some extra credit on the final. It says, um, suppose somebody sets the price at 25000 even though equilibrium's up here now. All right, so I'm going to bring out this, this random wacko price, right? It's not equilibrium. Equilibrium's up here. I'm going to put this random wacko price, and I'm going to call it P. We're at number three. I'm not going to call it EP because it's not equilibrium. I'm going to put it way out here so I remember, okay, this is the weirdo price, okay? The current demand curve, is it D1 or D2? Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. This Again, this is not equilibrium, so I'm going to bring it way down here and call it what? It's touching the demand curve, and so it is QD3. Uh, now, where is this wacko price touching the supply curve. Okay, it's touching the supply curve here. So we bring this down. And this is quantity supplied. Three. All right. So because I've graphed it, it's a lot easier for me to answer the question that they're asking. If you don't know how to graph it, it's going to be harder for you to know how to answer this question. But so I can look at this now, say, oh, hey, quantity supplied is lower than quantity demanded. So that tells me uh, that we have a shortage. And then I have to give, in full words, oops, I have to give, in full words, why I say it's a shortage. And, and so don't put abbreviations down here or you won't get the points. Quantity supplied is less than quantity demanded. Okay, then the last one. Oh, let's make sure we check mark. We explained 
shortage of support. Boom, there's nothing telling me to graph up here. Okay, last one. This one doesn't require you to answer any questions. You just have to graph what would happen. What would occur if the government passed a law requiring all hybrid car manufacturers to replace the batteries of its hybrid cars for free every six years? Okay, government regulation, that affects what? Demand or supply? Okay, supply. And does, would this encourage suppliers or discourage suppliers? would discourage suppliers and so therefore supply is it going to increase or decrease supply is going to decrease so we've got some graphing to do because it says here show the change by drawing your new curve on the graph and label your new equilibrium all right let's draw the new curve um, go. draw the new curve right here what do I label it and okay so then next question is where is my new this is one that a lot of students miss where is my equilibrium now we've got all kinds of curves here so is my new equilibrium the, the intersection between s1 and d1 is that where equilibrium is right now is my new equilibrium uh s2 and d1 is my new equilibrium um, S1 and D2, or is my new equilibrium S2 and D2? Where is equilibrium right now? Equilibrium is always find your curves with the highest numbers, the most recent numbers. So that would be D2 and S2, because those are the highest numbers. So it's the most recent, that's where we are, and that's where you put your final equilibrium. This is often missed a lot by students. And so here we go. I'm going to bring this down so I have some room to label it. And what do we label it? Okay, and bring it over here. Okay. Good luck on the final.